Hey everybody, I'm Lorenzo. I want to spend some time talking about our experience with OpenTelemetry. For context, this is something we implemented at my now previous company around February 2023. It's been in production since, and as I say, it's mostly been good. Um, to start, a bit of intro about OpenTelemetry is a few things. So it's a set, set of API and standards that kind of like uh, provide a standard to instrument things. It's also some SDK in several languages to instrument your code. And I need to skip. Uh, it focuses on trace, metrics, and a bit of logs, um, with a focus on instrumentation and shipping. And it's also backend agnostic. It does interface with a lot of different vendors and different backends for your code. If we go more in the visual side, we can see here to the left, we got our SDK using a couple of applications to instrument your code as you do uh, to add metrics, traces, and the like. And then if we zoom back, we can see we have, for example, a note and collector that we can use to offload your telemetry and do some initial pre-processing and some uh, batching uh, for it. And then if we zoom further out, we can see what is not really open telemetry itself, but still the ecosystem. It's all the backends, the part that focus on uh, storing your metric, ingesting them correctly, processing them, querying them, and also visualizing them, it's uh, offloaded to other components of the ecosystem. And that brings me to the good that I've seen. Uh, these are a few of the systems that I had experienced over the year. Um, they, all of these, and a lot more, they do interface with OpenTelemetry. There's compatibility, and that is a very good point. As a second one, uh, as someone that dedicated to a platform, uh, I like that it's very operational stable. For more than a year, we deployed it, and it was there. It just worked. Uh, and again, it's a, it has a flexible architecture. It is pushed by default with support for pull. Uh, we can see here in Prometheus, we push to the upper telemetry collector, and then it gets uh, exposed for Prometheus to scrape them. Um, it is a system that is fairly reliable in its batching and shipping. We implemented it with uh, Google Cloud Run, which is an event-driven serverless component without the need of a sidecar, and it gave us very consistent metric. Um, going a bit to the bad, well, this is something we can argue about. You can see that different languages have different level of support. It's something that is young, it's still evolving, but if you use some of the language that might be a bit less cool, so to speak, uh, you might still have a bit of fragmentation in your instrumentation. And following from that, the SDK, something that I found while implementing it, is still in heavy development. So documentation sometimes is a bit inconsistent, and sometimes uh, your methods get deprecated. And finally, it's still a lot of boilerplate. This is a screenshot from a workshop that I had in May of this year. This is almost yeah, 23 lines in Python, and this is only to instrument for metrics. So there's some work to be done there. The ugly for me is that it's not a unicorn. It's not magic. You still need to consider the limitation and the limits of your backends. As an example, you can instrument and send a lot of labels for your metrics, and then your backend Prometheus will melt. It, does, it doesn't solve all your problem. And for the ugly part too, I'm actually interested if anybody found any oral stories while working for it. I saw there was an open space yesterday. Because for me, it actually worked fairly well. I have a couple more points on consider. Uh, one, as I said, it's a batching and push system. So you need to architect with this in mind. Uh, it will drive some choices. And likewise, it is uh, offloading and batching. Um, and it's asynchronous. So it's not super real time. And finally, something that I, I didn't try myself, the SDK does auto instrumentation. I just play with it on my own, not on my company. It was quite good, so something to try. And this is my buffer slide because I know I would overrun a little bit. <laughs> that said, <laughs> we got almost there. So I, in the next one, there should be a couple of uh, QR code. That's me on LinkedIn. This is a GitHub link to a workshop that I did in May about instrumenting uh, some code, Python code, with OpenTelemetry and then building a full pipeline uh, based on uh, Prometheus and Grafana. And yeah, thank you for listening. Thank you.